guys, so recently made a Black Friday video about the best Switch deals from the different major retailers. Um, I wanted to go back and revisit Amazon because Amazon, uh, in truth, they do have some good Switch deals, but they make it so damn hard to find. So let me show you where you can actually find which games are on sale for Switch on Amazon. So here, you see it's Black Friday week. And you know, the first thing that you want to do is click on this Black Friday deal. I know that's kind of like the instinct, but don't do that because that's actually the wrong way and it's going to make it so much harder to filter directly to the Switch games that are on sale. Instead, click this box over here um, and then go down to where it says Movie, Music, and Games. You're going to click that and you're going to find where it says Video Games. Now once I click on video games, that will actually take me to a page that allows me to filter by the different consoles. In this case, we're going to go for the Nintendo Switch here. And once I am in the Nintendo Switch, there's like two more steps that I got to do. First, I'm going to click games. And then, only then, do you get this little box here on the left hand side that says deals, Black Friday deals. So if you click on the Black Friday deals, you do see Luigi's Mansion for 40, Link's Awakening for 40, Just Dance here, Minecraft Dungeons for 20 bucks, Harry Potter, um, and then the different types of games here. Most of the first party games, the ones made by Nintendo, are 40. The ones that are by third party are about 20 bucks. But um, what I did was I had the GameStop add up here as well so you can see a lot of them are kind of competitive so here we have all the games on sale excluding the door busters um, and then here you have kind of the 1999 for the XCOM and the Bioshock and Burnout Paradise Remastered for 30 and Minecraft Dungeons so you can see we saw Minecraft Dungeons a little earlier it's about 20 bucks here but the nice thing about uh, Amazon of course is if you have Prime the delivery is free so definitely check that out but you see they make it so hard to find your games and they're competitive with GameStop on some of the third-party games but it's just a freaking nightmare to find again um, I'm gonna scroll all the way up you're gonna have to click this you're gonna have to go down to movies and games you're gonna have to click video games you're going to have to click into the nintendo switch and you're going to click games and then only then do you get this little toggle for black friday deals so hopefully that was helpful um definitely if you can get on amazon for a competitive price the same price you should um, the last thing i want to show you is the sd card so in my other video i talked about you know, if you buy a Nintendo branded SD card, you can get like a 256 for 40 bucks um, and it's made by SanDisk. But if you just go here and you type SanDisk micro SD and you put it in the search, um, you're actually going to be able to see that they have a 400 gig here for 46. So this was a little more, it's about six bucks more than the 256 that you found elsewhere that's Nintendo branded but you only you almost get a hundred and forty four extra gigs for six bucks don't buy the Nintendo branded one they are a ripoff buy this one um, and definitely you're gonna get more bang for your buck so hopefully this little short video helps you guys um, on your Black Friday and remember if you're buying a kid an eShop card please 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 get them at least ten dollars $10 worth of eShop. Don't get them five bucks. There's not really many good games for five bucks. They're gonna throw those games or just buy all of the bad games and basically throw your money away. So get them at least a $10 um, eShop card for this Christmas, whether it's your kid, your niece, your nephew, whoever. Do them the service, give them the five bucks extra. I know times are difficult, but if, if you love them as a gamer, do that for them. Alright, hopefully that video, this video was helpful and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye!